Hey guys. Okay, so I just got in a few days ago this Onyx Shadow Sense. Let's see. Is that? That's technically backwards, right? So, I don't know. It's Shadow Sense. So, a lot of people use this for their eyeliner, especially since our eyeliner is not in stock right now. So, a lot of people said it's great for eyeliner. So, I'm going to try it and I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me try it, okay? So, a lot of people said that they're just using the brush, and I don't know if you can tell, but the wand is, like, slightly pointed at the end, okay? Like, right there. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to see if I can pull this off, okay? I have a feeling it's going to be quite dramatic. I have to hold my eye. You're not supposed to, but I just do. Okay, so I'm just going to make, like, tiny little back and forth motions. I don't know what way is recommended, but I feel like it's whatever way works for you. Okay, so let's just take it all the way down here to where you're going to start your wing. Yeah, and then I'm going to go back in with a brush and try and correct my wing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the inside corner here. And then when this dries, it will set like the rest of our makeup and then it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? Hmm, I'm pretty impressed with how easy that is. And it's totally just pure pigment, so it's covering really, really well. Okay, so I'm going to leave that eye, leave it alone. And then I'm going to move to this eye and um, we'll go back in with an angle brush and try and put like a little wing on there. Because I am doing some running around today, but it's not like... You know, I have a grand ball to go to, so I'm not going to try and do it too dramatic, right? Okay, I hope you guys can see this. Just small little strokes. I don't want to make it too thick at the front, but I might. And if I do, I'll just have to match them, which is horrible. I hate to do that. You always get one eyeliner so perfect, and then the other one you do too thick, and then you have to make the perfect one look crappier just to match the other one unless you just want to start over okay so you know what i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna leave the the ones right here by my tear duct i'm gonna leave that and then i'm gonna go back in with the angle brush and go ahead and get that so it looks pretty good guys right pretty smooth actually okay so i got my angle brush see so I'm just going to dip it one time, okay, just like one time in here. You don't want to pump it because it'll get air and then cause your product to actually come out. You don't want that, especially with the black. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of just, you know, put it on the tip there. And let's see how this works. I'm actually pretty surprised of how well this is working out my first time. Okay, so let's just start with a tiny wing tiny and that might be all we're going to go ahead and do today hmm. all right cool all right sure i like it it's going on so smooth with the angle brush i mean it went on smooth with the applicator but this angle brush is really bringing it home guys okay so let's try I don't want to be too dramatic, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the inner corner with our angle brush. And there's just so much product on this brush. I'm really surprised. So I don't think I'm going to have to reapply any to my brush. And then we'll just kind of follow that around. Cool. Okay, so the wings don't match, but whose does? Y'all well, see me just stab myself in the eye with the angle brush? Just pretend you didn't. Okay, I guess I'm not going to worry about it too much because I am going just around town. No biggie. You probably won't see anybody. So I guess that's okay. Alright, what do you guys think? They don't really match, do they? 
Okay, but the fact that they really don't match has more to do with my, you know, symmetry ability and less to do with the product because actually the product is quite great. Look, guys. Wow. That's awesome. And nothing up here. All right. Well, there you go. That's me doing eyeliner. Should I try the bottom for bottom eyeliner? I wasn't going to do bottom eyeliner today. I tell you what, we'll go ahead and just try the corners anyway. But what should I use? The wand, the brush, the brush, the wand? Let's go ahead and put a little bit more on our brush and we will use that. How about that? Make sure we close up our products, right? Because this stuff is too good to let dry up. Okay, and I'm just going to take the angle brush and go from my wing down. And you don't want to go all the way around. Well, I mean, you might. But I kind of think that's more for evening or if you just want to look extra sexy, I guess. Getting a phone call. But I'm just going to ignore it right now. Okay, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're going here and I might have to put a little bit more because yeah it dried this stuff has um, cosmetic grade alcohol in it so it dries pretty quickly how long is this video six minutes already no one's gonna watch this whole thing but that's all right that means I guess I just get extra permission to screw up at the end all right see they are connected Looking snazzy. We'll put a little bit more of a wing on that. Oh, this is totally daytime look, right, guys? <laughs> okay, well, there you have it. So, Onyx Eye Sense as an eyeliner. Ooh. Okay, well, there you guys go. So, now I'm just going to apply some makeup, eyelashes, and lip scents and go about my business. All right, guys, have a good day. Thanks for watching. If you watch this long, you're a trooper. All right, bye, guys, and let me know if you need this Onyx Shadow Sense. I was about to call it Lip Sense. Okay, guys, thank you. Bye.